as vaccines continue to be distributed and administered and as the number of hospitalizations and the positivity rates start dropping in our region, Renown has announced it's lifting its visitation restrictions. Valentina Bonaparte is live in Renown for us this evening. And Valentina, this is certainly a move many people have been waiting for for a while. Kristen, it is such good news for so many families in the area. And I'm not, I know there may be people at home watching this wondering why they didn't do it a month ago or days ago. But the hospital says that it was simply not safe to do it then. We've finally seen the light of day by virtue of having vaccinations and been able to have done a good job as a community and coming together and Luckily, we're starting to see some of those volumes go down. The action was also inspired by Darlene Randolph. Her husband died after being in the hospital for 17 days with COVID-19. She couldn't say bye to him in person. And after his death, she, ho she wrote to the hospital saying thank you. And she also mentioned how she wished she was there for his last moments. The letter reached renowned CEO Dr. Tony Slonim. He too lost his father to COVID-19 and he felt personal about the letter. Now visiting hours for all patients, including those diagnosed with COVID-19 will be extended from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And previously it was 3 to 8 p.m. It's very humbling to know that I had that impact, but I know how critical that impact is to help get those families connected. Now all patients can have up to two visitors and those visitors are encouraged to visit to go one at a time. Covering the story, Valentina Bonaparte, 2 News.